morning, team country. It is the day after Monday, and it is the day before Wednesday. Yes, sir. -y. Hey, we're going to make the best out of today. I'm going to tell you right now, because I woke up and it raining again. Yep. Thunderstorms, thunder and lightning. Mm hmm. That's fantastic. Hey. And I'm supposed to be going into a winter, which involves me being outside. And by the looks of it, that ain't a good idea. So I really, I'm not, I have no idea if this is going to happen. Really don't know. But hey, I kind of need a paycheck. You know what I mean? I need to make some out there. Oh, De Niro. Cheese. The green stuff. The dead presidents. You know. You, you, you see what I'm getting at. We kind of got to have those. Otherwise, you can't pay no bills. But I'm telling you right now. The skies are telling me to run in and hide. But my paycheck telling me to run to work. <laughs> so what do you do? I don't know. We gonna get it. We gonna get it. I'm telling you guys, it looks horrible. It's like... I don't know how to explain it. It's not black skies. It's just a little light gray in areas that kind of make... Remind me of like Tennessee right before we had tornadoes. Kind of like... Mm-hmm. Hey, I don't miss those. <clears throat> I don't care who you are. You enjoy a tornado. You're just nuts. Hey, something wrong with you. Now, we have stood on the porch and watched them, <clears throat> watched them go across the field, stuff like that. But that was a long time ago when we were kids. Nowadays, I hear about, I hear about a tornado. I'm like, we could lose everything we own. We work so hard for that stuff. Kids, get in the bathtub and get a mattress. Bring some snacks. Bring the bagels. Hey, I can't be losing my stuff. But we went through a we went through a pretty bad hurricane here. So uh, I reckon we could go through anything. We didn't lose our house or nothing, but a lot of people did. That was uh, quite the scary situation. Although I felt pretty safe during the hurricane, uh, Hurricane Matthew. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about our most recent one um, I went to my sister well when my sister lived in an apartment uh, we went up on the second floor or third floor and kind of watched off the balcony and the trees were just bent 90 degrees that wind I'm, you, know, you know what it was doing it was straight up getting it I'm gonna tell you right I, I'd never been in one so whoa that was an experience along with this being a long intro. Let's get off here. I'm gonna pump some gas. And I got like a 17 seconds worth of video left on this, so uh, I need to go through and delete some stuff or I can even make one more clip. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna pump a little gasolineage, and I will see y'all in a few. Hey, it's time to go install a winder now. It only took me two hours to find it. Oh, hey. Sometimes it happens, I reckon. But, uh, well, good news is it's not thunderstorming yet. Bad news is I'm not sure when it's going to start. So I hope it holds off a little bit. I'm going to tell you, it's, it's looking worse than uh, actually when I had left the house. Um, half the sky is sunny and half looks like, holy crap, it's going down. Go, dun, 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 meet me at the trap. It's going down. Hey, Lowe's was not a very pleasant place to be today. Um, I mean, it was all right, but uh, I'm going to tell you, I am a Home Depot fan all the way. All the way. Oh, anyway, so figured I'd give y'all a little update. And uh, since I'm on the way there, I'm going to get off here since I'm kind of on the main road. But I'll see y'all when we start ripping this old winder out. Well, I'm going to tell you what. 
today's acting more like Monday than my actual Monday. Lord Almighty. Oh, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna do a couple of clips installing that window, but once I ripped the vinyl siding off the outside and got the nails out, I noticed that when I tried to set the other window in there before I started, you know, waterproofing and doing other things, I wanted to see if it fit before I turned my camera on. And it didn't fit. And Lowe's and Home Depot and nowhere around us sells that actual size. Go finger. So, I just went to the my next job, I went ahead, well, on that window, we got tornado watch till seven o'clock or eight o'clock, and there's no way I had time to start framing and everything else on it, so I just put a few nails in the old one and threw the vinyl siding back on. Got over here to this other job, and she says, I don't have anywhere to hook my dryer up. I was like, huh? I, okay, so I get there, and you know, they got a plug in for the dryer, but there was no vent hole. Someone, who obviously doesn't need to be maintenance, has came and repaired the drywall and completely just didn't put a hole for the dryer pipe. Like, what were you thinking when you did that? I mean, what what actually made you, what, what made you think that was okay? Oh, you gotta, you gotta love people. You gotta, you gotta love it. I mean, I think some people just, uh, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're a few cents short of a dollar. I don't know any other way to put it. I believe, you know, their Skittles are all the same color. Anyway, so now I'm, man, the clouds are getting dark. And they're getting dark quick. And I've actually got to be outside a little bit on this one. Oh. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty much like racing around today and just trying to make it happen but i just worked like the first four and a half hours today for nothing because that stupid window wouldn't fit and uh, I, I asked the project manager <clears throat> i said this one's like you know two inches taller and he said go ahead and get it it should work but it, it wasn't even close it was it was like like over two inches from fitting um it, yeah it was actually a little over two inches from fitting and if I would have cut an inch of wood off the top and bottom, then the inside, like the drywall would have been all the way up to the glass and it just it just wouldn't have worked. Um, it, now I could have done half an inch on each and been okay, but not an inch. Oh well, I mean, hey, what can you do? What can you do? It's just another day in paradise. But Lord, I'm gonna tell you something. I have heard every time I went to a house or Lowe's or running around doing this, I have heard sirens all day long. Just ambulance after ambulance. Police after police. I'm like, today is Siren Tuesday. I'm telling you, I, I've never in one day here heard as many sirens pass as I have today. Probably all put together since I've lived here. I've probably heard, I don't know, 20 or 25 different ones just today. And there's actually a fire truck at the red light in front of me. Go figure. Oh, so I'm going back to Lowe's for the third time. You know what? I'm going to go to Home Depot. I'll just go a little bit. I'm, I'm tired of Lowe's today. I'm just going to go out of my way a little bit. Go to Home Depot. I can't handle no more Lowe's today. Can't do it. Not going to. Oh, I just heard somebody lose something. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. I know y'all may not be able to tell on camera, but the skies are closing in, guys. And I mean, earlier looked bad, but now just looks horrible. Like, earlier I was like, eh, I don't think it's coming. You know, even though it says it's coming, I don't think it is. Now, I know it's coming. It's it looking rough. But hey, and it's 79 degrees right now and cloudy. And yeah, that's why my hat's soaking wet. I sure hate that first job went like it did. That was, I mean, that's like 140, 150 bucks that, uh, that I pretty much just didn't get. I guess it is what it is, I guess. But uh, all right, well, 
I'll see y'all in a little bit. I'm gonna make my way over to the Home Depot. See what I can get into. Hey. That ain't worth the crap. It's gonna be kinda hard to finish the outside part of my job when it looks like that. Oh, my goodness, I'm telling you. This is a, uh, hey, there's a lot of lightning too. It had to, woo, it had old Home Depot lighting up in there. Lights were flickering every time the thunder hit. So, I don't know, I, I, I'm not so sure I'm gonna be able to finish this other job. I don't wanna track in their house either. Just, oh my gosh. Hey, I'm not a fan of lightning whatsoever. I don't mind a lot of things, but lightning actually makes me quite nervous. So maybe I'll just keep the camera on in case I get struck by lightning. How'd that be for some clickbait? I was struck by lightning. Mm-hmm. Hey, I believe we have a few clicks on that. And my stupid light bar where it's connected up here when it rains really hard like this it actually leaks and that sucks but oh well anyway just thought i'd show y'all what it's looking like all right and we still getting it <laughs> we ain't gonna let a little rain stop old country well well I, I, well it might it might because it ain't a little rain it's a whole lot of it so I'm gonna get off here, guys, so I can, Lord Almighty, so I can drive in this junk. Oh. Hey, guys. The wipers are on high, and I can't see. Look, hey, I can see more on the camera than I can in real life. Maybe I need to drive through the camera. Yeah. That would be a whole lot better idea. Holy moly. Guys, this is, this is awful. I mean, like seriously Ugh. well team country oh, I just got done with uh, cutting out the hole in the drywall behind the dryer and installing a uh, some piping and stuff so they could use their dryer um, the second I step out in the backyard the rain stopped for you know every few seconds it would stop for a second so I ran outside to try to put the four little vent covers on. And as soon as I did, lightning hit in the yard over and scared the living crap out of me and the guy and his roommates. They all jumped in the back door. I'm telling you, I, oh man. And they said, he said, I was just standing on the front porch before you pulled up smoking a cigarette and it did the same thing in the neighbor's yard on the front side of the house. And I ran inside. It's, it's hitting everywhere around us. Um, so I was actually trying to video, I was doing like two miles an hour trying to get here from Lowe's and I ended up coming to a dead stop along with everyone else with my hazards on. We could not move one inch because I literally thought I was in the middle of a tornado. There was no moving. There, it was not possible. You could not see. I couldn't even see my hood and it's white. So I'm glad. I hope that heavy stuff is done because that was scary. Um, and even the truck started sputtering like it was raining so freaking hard that it's I guess getting the coils wet or you know the spark plugs wet or something it's not doing it now but it sure was when it was doing that hurricane crap oh I'm glad that's done but uh, anyway so at that house in the backyard um, they have a dog that looks it's the exact same size as bandit which is my dog if you guys are new um, for you other guys and gals, y'all know exactly who Bandit is. Well, I guess they rescued that dog, and the guy that was with me the whole time talking to me, uh, I guess he was about 25, maybe, he said, uh, he, when I got there, he said, man, he said, I, I don't know if you can work any magic with dogs. He said, but dude, the, the, the dog, the roommate's dog is so scared, it will not come in. It's just sitting in the backyard. Thunder, lightning, pouring down rain, can't see in front of your face. The dog still sitting in the backyard same color as bandit and everything i could tell the dog had a little bit of hip dysplasia 
uh, well, however you say that word. My wife will correct me if I'm wrong, but I hear her say it, so I know what it means. Um, and the dog was rescued. I don't know if that dog had the ever living crap beat out of it or what, but that dog would not come in the house. Uh, I said, man, I said, you know, I'm a stranger. That dog's not gonna cooperate with me like it will. It sees you guys more. I said, go get some sandwich meat. Uh, get down on your knees as low as you can and try to coach the dog with the meat. No, the dog didn't even want the sandwich meat. I, I felt so freaking sorry for that dog. It was just sitting there staring at the door looking like it wanted to come in but it just it wouldn't absolutely would not come in and that's that's just sad so if y'all are buttholes and you don't know how to treat animals please don't own one because you're you're ruining their life and they deserve to have a good life just like a human being um, if not better because they don't live as long so I can't stand that and sometimes I wish I could find the original owners of these dogs and just well you know Man, I can't stand that stuff. That's, it's heartbreaking. It really was hard to see. And I, I tried my best. I spent like 15 minutes. No matter what I did, the dog just wouldn't come in. So I was like, well, I tried. I, I really figured that I could get it in, but couldn't get the dog in. Well, it's still raining. It's dropped to 65 degrees. Of course, I'm having to run the AC wide open because it's fogging up really bad. But uh, I was kind of trying to film when I was sitting still. It just wasn't happening because I kept getting phone call after phone call after phone call. I had mom call, uh, my wife called, the surgery clinic called to check in on Kira to see how she was doing. Um, all in the middle of this hurricane type wind and rain. But uh, I don't know if I, can, if I can find a little clip to add in, I will, if I can use any of it. Um, Anyway, so I am on the way home now. Thank God. Uh, well, not because it's raining, because I'm starving. Hey, I'll cut your cars ready to eat. <sighs> I wonder what we're going to eat. I don't even care. It could be peanut butter and jelly. Oh, never mind. I already know what we're eating. Mm, I'm excited. We're going to have uh, spicy chicken sandwiches and french fries, I do believe. Uh, yesterday, I bought the uh, the spicy chicken patties um and i'm gonna cook them nice and crispy and throw some lettuce and mayonnaise or whatever you like on there and they are delicious they are spicy but they are delicious so oh oh i'm excited now oh i need to get home come on red light i gotta go country car needs spicy chicken mm, mm, mm. hey i'll see y'all in a minute ah Hey, it's been a successful day. The Lord has let us live another. What are you doing in here? Looks like Christmas and popcorn. Hmm? All your, all mine? What? Popcorn. Mm -hmm. Love you. You feeling good? Guys, feeling good? They're getting better. Getting better. <laughs> You're excited to get them better? <laughs> oh, she said, I'm excited to get them better. She, uh, she's enjoying seeing up close right now because she's still seeing double at a distance so if she puts something close to her face and watches it she can see it clear um so she's pretty much she'd rather watch the phone than she would sit back and look at a tv i think because it's not very clear but uh she's getting better definitely getting better um and it's exciting for me too look here he got his own popcorn too Look, match, matches his shirt, too. <laughs> Buttery popcorn. Hey, and not just... Hold on now. Not just buttery. Where's it at? Hey, a little dark in here. Look here. What? 
Movie theater butter. Look. I get it. Oh yeah. Now the kids don't like this, but I do. It's the uh, the nacho cheddar. Whose cheddar? Nachos. But I like it. So good. That just means I get that all to myself. And I'm okay with that. Perfectly. Look here. I'm not sure if it's look at it's falling over. <laughs> oh, I'll just keep on rolling over. That looks relaxing. What are you looking at? Hey, what are you looking at out there? Huh? What are you looking at? What? You have a field trip on Thursday? Where are you going? Patriots Point? That'll be awesome. Yeah, the big ship. Yep. That'll be awesome. There's Miss Get It. She's on the phone. I think she's on the phone with Granny. Went Thursday? Pfft, I gotta paint a I gotta paint an entire fence on Thursday. That'll be lovely. Oh, so hey, we're finishing up the day. I'm making the rounds. Hey, look here. I'm in I'm in my jammies. Well, Grace Physical Therapy shirt, which is my sister's clinic, named after my niece. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? You know what? I'm not sure if y'all can see that or not. Rex, you just chilling, buddy? Hmm? He's like, yeah, I'm just chilling. Give me a cricket. Shut up. Hey. You want to say hi? No? Get it. Dan it, dan it, dan it. Dan it, dan it, dan it. Hey, why aren't you... Why aren't you talking to nobody? Hmm? You ain't gonna talk to nobody? You see yourself? Hmm? Hey, I'm gonna show y'all something, actually. Speaking of Rex, let me see if he'll do it again. He, uh... Hey, where's your fidget spinner? The one with the lights. I guess she gonna go get it. Bring it in here. I don't know if he's gonna do it, guys, but Rex sure was liking the uh, the fidget spinner. Go over and spin it and see if Rex will get it. Spin it and put it up there. You gotta hold it sideways like this. And hold it like that and spin it. Here you go. Try it again. See if we can get it on camera. Put it up by the glass so he sees it. Put it down there where he can reach it. Oh, he may not do it, guys. He looks a bit uninterested. Oh. I don't know. He looks a bit uninterested today. Let me see. Let Daddy try. I can hold the camera. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we should turn. Y'all are like, would you just get to it? Well, hold on a minute. I can hold it. Here, we're going to turn this one off. Oh, now I can't see nothing. Let's see if the red one will come on. Oh, it did. Hey, look here. Now we can tell ghost stories. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Rex, are you going to cooperate this time? How are we gonna be able to see it? I don't know. If y'all can see it, you can. If you can't, you can't. Can Let's see. It. Here, look back. You ain't gonna do it, are you, little crap? <laughs> you ain't gonna do it. Maybe you need, now you need to put it right there and try. I don't know. Like He's not very interested right now. Rex, you're being, you're being boho. I wonder why I ain't doing it now. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Yep, he ain't gonna do it. Anyway, he was, uh, every time we would do this with a fidget spinner, he would, uh, try to attack it with his tongue. 
But I guess he's not interested right now. I know. Rex, you're being lazy. Lazy. He's interested. He just ain't licking it. Anyway. Yeah, he thought it was a bug. And uh, every time we would do this, he would attack it. And try to eat it. But of course, now that I'm trying to show you guys, he ain't doing nothing. All right, love you. Where are you, where are you going? To the store. All right, love you. Buy me something nice. Hey, right, don't do anything I wouldn't do. If you do, name it after me. Don't threaten you with a good time. <laughs> oh, wife goals. Well, Rex is not being interesting today, is he? He let us down. Is he, is he out of crickets too? What? Uh, he's got. Caden didn't put any cricket food in there, so. Looks like some of them died. Can I try this out, we Dad? Huh? Hey, we're boring YouTube over here. They're probably like, hey, y'all gonna have to get it together. Y'all are boring us, and we're clicking. We're clicking off. Right now, we're just gonna open up the box and let him eat a couple. And then we're just gonna close her back up. Might as well. Rex is like, ooh, wee, son. Hey, you can't be going in there. You'll eat them all. Crazy guy. All right, get you another one and get out. Hurry up. All right, you can get some more bedtime. Dad, how do you I know, I'm boring y'all to death. Sorry. Hey, y'all going along with me? What I tell you? Everyday life on here. What do you do? Who are you gonna shoot? We press this button. Huh? We press this. I'm afraid if we do, we are gonna shoot somebody. All right, so, no, I won't. I don't want you shooting nobody. All right, well, we will see y'all tomorrow. I've actually got a headache. That's all right, maybe the ibuprofen will kick in soon. So, tomorrow will officially be hump day, and hopefully it's not raining. I cannot stand three days in a row. Uh-uh, need to make a living. So, hey, for all you people that have been watching, thank you very much. Okay, wouldn't be Country Carter YouTube page without some fans. Hey, and supporters. A lot of y'all are not just fans. You've been here since day one, and you're still here commenting on every one of them, and I really appreciate it. Hey, for all you new guys, hit the subscribe button down there to be part of Team Country. Hey, get it. That's all I got to say. That's it. Get it. That's what we do around here. That's what we do every day. And I'm going to continue keeping on, keeping on. And I wish every single one of you a great Tuesday evening. I had to think about what day it was when I just said that. I'm not going to lie. I do not have this planned out. <laughs> I almost said Wednesday. So, we will see you all tomorrow. Country Carter, signing out. Yeah.